pixelization, and it looks weird. All right, so now we are ready to throw these in. And again, I, I have my ch I have select element checked uh, for the purpose of being able to just like select and not having to make sure everything's selected. It's it's going to select all the pieces. So if I just click on a face, it's still going to select all the faces of that section. And how I do this is once I have um, some pieces brought in. Typically, I will try to drag everything into that section. Again, trying to keep everything about the same size. That's going to be the, the most important part of this. is keeping things relatively the same size because again we we look at our checker patterns here on the penguin like I said they they look pretty good so we don't want to adjust anything too much I just try to throw everything in here, try to get it tight. And if you're looking for an easy button to do this, there isn't a good easy button. I'm not saying that there isn't an easy button, but it's it's very poor or the results will be very poor if you use it so I'm not even going to show you And like I said, is I, I know that I told you that everything needs to be into the 0 to 1 space. And that's what I, I started to stack it into the lower left here. And now I'm just going to hold down control and scale it down. Move it over a little bit. Check this out. And then, again, make some more adjustments. Um, this has been compared to like Tetris where you're just trying to jam everything into this as tight as possible. And if you jam everything in here and it's tighter, you can scale it back up. This is where it becomes a back and forth process. 
where you're making some adjustments and then you're adjusting it a little more. Uh, once I think I have it pretty tight, I mean, I could spend, again, hours here trying to make it perfect. Uh, we just want to make sure that there are gaps, like some sort of a distance between the different sections. Uh, this is important for when we do paint our textures. Looks good. That looks good. Uh, my concern right now is just this hand. Alright, so this this should work for my 0 to 1 space and I can save this off to texture. Uh, before I save this off though, let's save our file. So now we've finished unwrapping the character and we're ready to move on to texture. So before we can move on to texturing, we need to actually take this 0 to 1 space and export it so that we can bring it into a 2D tool like Photoshop to begin texturing. So get our template here we want to go to tools and down to render UVW template. When we do this we ha can designate our width and height values and we want to set these typically to a power of two, 2. So 256, 512, 1024, 2048, etc. Uh, ideally we're going to paint a relatively small map for this penguin character. Um, but I always like to work larger than my end result is going to be. So I'm going to start out with a 1024 by 1024 map and then click render UVW template. When I click on the render UVW template you'll see that the window might look a little pixelated. And that's because right now the resolution is 1 to 2, meaning that we're looking at half resolution. If we were to zoom in and see it at 1 to 1 is that we can see the lines are all there. But once we have this render template here, we need to click on the little save disk. And I'm going to just put this into my scene assets, images. And I'm going to save this off as a targa. And I'll call this UV template. The reason that I want to save this off as a targa is because I want to save this off as a 32 bit per pixel image. So once I've called this UV template, I'll hit save. And for the targa image control, image attributes we have bits per pixel. I want to set to 32 or make sure that it is set to 32. As far as the rest of the settings they do not matter you can just leave them as default. Hit OK and now this is saved off to that folder. I can then close this, close this, and I can now open that Targa file in Photoshop. Before I bring that over to Photoshop though is that I just want to remind people that you will see this save button and load button. We'll be getting this, getting to this later on when we deal with more advanced characters. But do not go to like edit UVWs here, file, save UVs. That's exactly the same as this. When you're saving your file, make sure you do file, save as, and save it this way. Again, make sure that you're using the main viewport and not the edit UVW window to try to save your stuff. So once we have our UV template saved off here, everything's good, we can then collapse our unwrap UVW for the time being, or we can leave this open. It really doesn't matter. Um, I do advise you to collapse it though, at least once. And the reason that we collapse this is now the UVs that we've modified here are baked onto the model. So that means if you have to export this, say to um, export it for another program or even for this program, is that the UVs have been saved out and are on, are on this model rather than just having a modifier that's on there. So this is our completed unwrap and we're ready to open up our template in Photoshop.